Edition of Fit in 10, it is day 10. One seventh into the challenge, 60 days to go, plenty of time. Hopefully you're sort of, you know, getting some traction here, figuring out how things are working for you, figuring out what system is gonna work best for you, but we cannot uh, disregard the planning and preparing, right? Because that's really the only way you're gonna be able to do this. And, um, and I think I saw something to this nature in Slack. People were talking about it and they're, you know, how do you, what do you do if you have a 15 hour day away? And it's just like, you just gotta plan, prepare. And I think there was something else, how do you take food for you? How do you take, how do you keep food, you know, uh, fresh and or reasonably fresh and cool? Um, of course, uh, I think somebody had mentioned in there a cooler, which is a great idea. Uh, it reminds me actually of when I used to go to uh, to university and I had days where I was, you know, I was there all day, you know, I had, you'd have like labs in the morning and then, you know, you, you had a tutorial at like whatever, four or five at night and, um, you know, so you just, your day was spread across between traveling and getting home, it was a 15 hour day. So, um, and that's, you know, exactly um, what I did on days like that. Um, the only the only thing I that was hard for me when I was in university was I had these four hour labs like literally and they took four hours like it wasn't like you could do it in three and a half it was like you had, you needed every minute to get your lab done um, in particular um, organic chemistry um, but 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 the point here is is that you know where there is a will there is a way now that's not to say that. You should have everything figured out by now. But, you know, keep seeking. If you're having troubles, keep seeking, keep searching, keep asking for help in this way. Um, but I can guarantee you where there, where there is a will, there is a way, okay? You'll find a way to do it. Um, but when it comes to, you know, traveling for 15 hours, yeah, you just need to take, you know, a, a cooler with you essentially, okay? Uh, I even used to take thermoses with me because I had, um, you know, sometimes I'd take something that I want to keep cool um, whether it was a whether it was liquid or or you know solid type food so um, plan prepare think about your day's head think about what you're going to need uh, if you're a creature of habit like I am that helps big time because I just replicate meals and then you know even if you have a meal like so for example you know my my breakfast that I love and I've loved for years is I, I do this mixture of dry oatmeal uh, egg and egg white, so I whip that together. I, you know, I either cook it in a pan or in a microwave. Usually in a microwave because it's faster. Till it's all cooked, I mash it up. I mash a banana into it. Typically, sometimes I'll have a Granny Smith apple. Mash banana into it, and then add some Greek yogurt on top, um, and it's basically that's that's my breakfast. Um, but you know, even if I'm changing my numbers with that, I can add a little bit more egg whites, or I could add less oatmeal, or you know, um, more or less yogurt, th this type of thing. So more or less banana. So you can change, you know, your macros with a meal like that. Um, that's a perfect example. Uh, and you know, my second meal today, I had um, I had steak, rice, and uh, to give it a little more flavoring, I put. Um, well, I do steak, rice, and sauerkraut, and then to give it a little more flavoring, well, sorry, steak, rice. Uh, sauerkraut broccoli and then to give some flavoring some parmesan a little bit of parmesan cheese and a little bit of uh, Nando's peri peri sauce and uh, again you could you know you know, put a little more steak in take it take a little take some steak out add a little more rice and take some rice out right and these will these will dramatically change your macros okay so you know play with the foods you like the first thing that I would ask yourself is what foods do I enjoy? Okay, As, you know, aside from the obvious ones that you can't really have, okay? Uh, including alcohol, by the way, okay? You're not supposed to be having alcohol. Um, but I guess I never really said that. Stay away from alcohol in this challenge. Um, but, you know, try to find the foods that are, quote, you know, healthy, which are real whole foods, the ones, those that you enjoy and then figure out how they can fit into your, your diet. I mean, this is a great thing about macronutrients. This is like, just find the healthy foods that you like, the healthy foods, the real whole foods that you like. I, I don't, I just like the term healthy because if 
kinds, depends on how you define healthy, but let's talk real whole foods here. Find the real whole foods that you like uh, or near, clo near close to a whole or real whole food and just fit it into your numbers. It's, you know, it's, it's, it's really that easy. Okay. Um, okay. So, um, already somebody asked me about this and, um, I don't want you to feel like I'm making fun of you because people ask, people state this to me over and over again. So if you're watching this video and you were the person that said this, I'm not making fun of you, but you know, somebody asked me today, they said, um, it, so I noticed that there is, I haven't really noticed much of a change in my weight. Um, you know, is, is it just take time to get, uh, and I, I'm not sure if, if actually this term was used, but I've heard people say this before. Does it just take time to like get the metabolism going? And, um, you know, metabolism is just, it is this, so it's an ongoing thing that, that is just a reflection of what you're doing basically. Okay. So in a nutshell, so like. I'm probably not explaining that very well, but let me just give you some examples. So if you are, if you demand energy of your body, so for example, I go out the door and I start going for a run, I am going to speed up my metabolism. Why am I speeding? Why, why is there a metabolic increase? Because I need some energy. I need, my body needs some energy. So it, the body's got to do stuff to get that energy into the cell so the cells can use it to help produce um, energy. Okay, there has to be some transfer of stuff in the body. I'm, I'm obviously I'm dumbing this down to allow the body to produce energy that it can use. Okay, that is a metabolic process. Okay, when you're recovering from a workout, there is stuff going on in your body to help the recovery. Okay, like for example, if you got tissue damage, that tissue damage there's a bunch of stuff that has to happen in order for your tissues to recover. That is another metabolic process. That is a, and if, if, if there's a metabolic pro, if there's a process that's happening that requires energy, well, all processes essentially require energy. But when, when there's more of that, then that is a heightened state of metabolism. Okay. Metabolism is just like a bunch of stuff that your body has to do in response to stuff that's happening. So there's no such thing as this, let's get the metabolism going. I mean, you can say that when you eat, you're getting your metabolism going because you're, 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 you gotta digest, right? Digestion is in itself an energy utilizing thing. So yeah, I mean, you're, you're using your metabolism, but just me right now, move my hands around like this, right? To some degree, I've gotta get my, that requires some energy, you know, me speaking, so all of these are going to have some metabolic influence to some degree, right? Um, so I'll get into this in more detail as the challenge goes on, but your metabolism just is what it is. It's just a reflection of everything you're doing, a reflection of what's going on to your body, a reflection of things you're putting into your body, essentially a reflection of things that you're putting into your body, reactions that are happening into your body, and then of course, um, you know, whatever you're doing in terms of energy output is going to affect your metabolism because, you know, like I said, your body needs energy. It, it needs certain things. There has to be transfer of things. There has to be, um, not creation of things, but, you know, essentially a liberation of things in order for your body to be able to extract the energy from those things. Okay. So a bunch of things that your body's doing, right, that require energy essentially, okay? The metabolism of the body. So there is really no such thing as, um, you know, everything's kind of, like, it's interesting because it seems as though we try to give, like, kind of a, a, um, a personality to our physiology, right? You know, like, but it's, it's not, there's no, obviously there's no personality, I and mean, I know you know that, but, it's that's kind of like what we kind of assigned the body. Oh, it's just it needs a little push, you know, it just needs a little, you know, um, anyways. So no, there is no it just takes your meta. It just you know, it just takes some time You got Oh, just after like day five, the metabolism so suddenly kicks in. No, it's just, you know, like I said, from from the from previous videos, we're digging away every day. Things are happening right now. It's just that you haven't probably digged away enough. Okay. But have you made progress? Of course you've made progress. Well, if you follow everything, you've made progress. Of course you have. It's just an accumulation of progress. That's all it is, right? It's just like when you earn a degree in school, it's not from that last course you took that 
there you go. That was your degree. No, your degree was all the courses and within a course, all those classes and you know, within those classes, all those whatever. Theories, you know, uh, facts, whatever. Things you learned, right? Um, you know, so it's just an accumulation of, of everything, right? It's an accumulation of all the days that you're putting in. Hopefully you're doing everything as best as you can, right? Not taking steps forward and taking steps backwards, right? Um, all right, I want to talk about bars too, but I'm not because I'm already at 10 and a half minutes because I rambled a lot. I'm not sure if I really made any sense today. Um, if I didn't, well, I'll try to make some sense tomorrow, okay? Um, all right, message of the day. Message of the day is this, habits over motivation and discipline. People say, how do you stay disciplined? How do you get motivated? Well, you, you, yeah, you can have points of that, but that's never gonna be an ongoing thing. Really what you have to do is set the habits in and then just repeat them, right? So put something in that's important, that's in this case, you know, workouts, cardio, days of food, make them habits and then that's it. And then once something becomes a habit, it just it's it's almost like programmed into you and it just kind of happens, right? So I'm going to remind you again, habits over motivation and discipline. Habits over motivation and discipline. Motivation can come and go, right? Discipline, I don't really really know how to, you know, discipline sort of like, I don't want to call it a myth, but it's just, it's like, you know, what do you want to do? Okay, what do I have to do to do it? Okay, let's start to implement that and just do it. Okay, so, and then hopefully that will turn into a habit, right? So always think habits instead of being, how can I become more disciplined or how can I become motivated, right? Okay, think about what you want, reverse engineer it. In this case, we know the pillars we have to do of the challenge, right? And then just keep at it, right? Keep at it one step forward every day, right? One step forward every day, <clears throat> okay? Positive energy, positive vibes. Believe in yourself for the love of God. Give some gratitude. And I will see you guys tomorrow.